I worked for MI5 in the 1990s as an intelligence officer and along with my former partner, a man who became quite a notorious whistleblower, David Shaler, we ended up blowing the whistle on a whole catalogue of crimes and incompetence carried out by the UK spy community, which included illegal phone taps, files on government ministers, um, innocent people being put in prison, bombs that could and should have been prevented, and it culminated in an illegal assassination attempt against Colonel Gaddafi of Libya, paid for by MI6 in 1996. Now, we couldn't live with this, so we decided to blow the whistle, but there were very few avenues to go down to expose wrongdoing by the spies. And that resulted in us going literally on the run around Europe for a month. We had to live in hiding in a French farmhouse for a year. And we then spent another two years in exile living in Paris. Um, I and many of our friends and journalists were arrested and convicted around us. And David himself went to prison not once but twice. First of all, when the British government failed to extradite him from France. And secondly, when he returned voluntarily to stand trial under the Official Secrets Act in the UK in 2002. And what I learned over that period was that the British spy community is the least accountable and most legally protected in any Western notional democracy. There is no meaningful oversight. There is something called the Intelligence and Security Committee in Parliament, but the only powers they have are to look at finance, policy and administration of the spies. They can't investigate crimes or incompetence. And they're also the most legally protected because we have the most draconian Official Secrecy Act, Official Secrets Act, which means that if you work for the agencies and you want to report crime up to and including murder, you are the criminal, not the people who commit the crime inside the agencies. So it's quite a steep learning curve. And it's very difficult in this country to try and make a difference. You can go to the extreme and blow the whistle, but you can pay a terrible price. It's very difficult to do that. And also, the media can be very easily controlled and spun. And that's why also I take my hat off and salute the efforts of organizations like WikiLeaks that provide a high-tech and protective conduit to pot potential intelligence whistleblowers. It is necessary in this world, and it's never been more necessary in this world where we have a situation where our intelligence agencies are allegedly involved in torture, are certainly involved in kidnapping, extraordinary rendition, and certainly with things like the CIA kill lists. We've never had a greater need of whistleblowers and integrity and intelligence. And of course, the most beautiful example of that is if you can do it from within the agencies, where you can exercise integrity from the inside and make a world-changing difference. So I would like to salute Dr. Tom Finger for what he did with the National Intelligence Estimate for just doing his job correctly. So thank you.